Hi, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. We're at VMworld 2015. One of the big concepts at VMworld 2015, of course, is the all flash array. And coming on fast is 3D NAND TLC flash. Is it ready for the enterprise? Because if it is, it can make a dramatic difference in price per gigabyte, which is one of the big uh, roadblocks to uh, all flash adoption. To talk about that, I've asked Shahar Feinblatt. He is the CTO at Caminario. It's great to be here and discuss technology. Great. So, um, you know, let's talk about 3D NAND uh, TLC and, and how it impacts, right? I mean, obviously, if we can get it to work, it's going to give us a great price per gigabyte advantage that we haven't seen yet in Flash, right? Yes, and we made it happen. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> I like the confidence. So, you know, obviously the big concern, I think, is with uh, anything with the, the letters TLC in it is going to be durability. So let's talk about some of the things you guys have done to address some of the durability issues. Okay, so uh, this drive are very, very reliable. We are using the uh, data center version of these SSDs. Mm -hmm. So they are very reliable. And basically there are two challenges that uh, these technologies are bringing for uh, a person like me that is building all flash arrays. Right, okay. One of them is uh, that these SSDs are coming with much, much higher density. So you need to make sure that the architect fits well to deploy these uh, high density SSDs. Okay. And there are things in the architecture, in the way you are managing the metadata that allows it, you to deploy these SSDs. Okay. Second thing is endurance. They are coming with lower endurance. It's not that low. It's By the way, it's a one write per day. It's the specification of the drive that we are using, one mm -hmm. write per day of the entire content. But if you have the right architecture, you can improve it by 5 to 10x. And this is what we are doing in Caminaria. Okay. So let's talk about what you guys are doing specifically to get that done. There are a few things you need to do. The first one, the most important one, is to implement data reduction and inline data reduction. Inline is criti crit critical word here. Okay. And why is this? Because you can, with inline data reduction, you improve the, uh, the endurance very, very significantly. For instance, if the data reduction is 5 to 1, mm -hmm. uh, if it's uh, post-processing, you're writing the entire one and then writing again. Right. The 0 0.2. Right. So if what you're if saying it's inline, here, you, you are doing 0 0.2 instead uh, of 1.2, which is 6x better of in endurance. Right. And so what you mean by inline is as data is coming into the system before it lands on our TLC layer here, you're eliminating a, a lot of redundancy to the ma to a, in, potentially a magnitude of 5x. Yes, using compression and deduplication techniques. Right. And then what you're saying with the 1.2 is if I do it post-process, I'm actually adding write load to the system, right? Ex exactly. And so I'm actually making a bad situation even worse. Exactly. Okay. The, the second thing that we, uh, we we are doing, we are writing to the flash in a very, very friendly way. Okay. So the spec of this SSD is to write random. We are writing sequentially in a very w a good way that is aligned to the uh, flash. Right. And th this is why it's much better, much lower uh, write amplification to the SSD. Okay. Third thing that we are doing, we are balancing the workload evenly across all SSDs. Okay. So there is no hotspot. So you do not need... Uh, to have endurance for the worst case for a single SSD is because everything is balanced in the system, data and metadata, everything is balanced. And also the RAID implementation is optimized because w with uh, an architecture, you're always writing full stripe. You do not have RAID overhead to the system. Uh, and, and this is the fourth thing that we are doing. And combining all these things allow us to improve endurance by 5 to 10x, sometimes even more than 10x. And we see that majority of our customers, 97% of our customers, according to our column system, mm -hmm. are writing their entire data less than once a day. Okay, so what does that project to in uh, life expectancy for these so, systems? So, so, it's, so the specification of the drive, the TLC 3D NAND, is one write per day for f f five years. We are improving it by 5 to 10x between endurance of between 25 to 50 years. Well, and, and so you guys have also brought out a program that sort of ties into that with your uh, perpetual array uh, capability, correct? Uh, exactly, so the, the first program that we have is that we, yeah, we, we guarantee the, uh, the endurance, we guarantee the lifetime of this SSD, so mm -hmm. no worry about it. Okay. The, the second thing is that we, b we do not believe in over-provisioning resources. Okay. So we believe in, an, in a system that you don't need to over-provision capacity, you don't need to over-provision performance, and you do not want to over-provision endurance because you are bringing additional unnecessary cost. Okay. So we build an architecture 
that you can start with a small system. This is a single K block system okay. with only one shelf. Okay. And let's say it was uh, you bought it a year ago, so it was MLC SSDs. Now you want to expand the system. Mm -hmm. So we will check in our uh, statistics, in our column, whether uh, you are close to the limit of the, of the system in performance. If you are not uh, according, uh, you are not reaching the limit of the system, we'll tell you the most cost-efficient way is to scale up by adding additional shelf. Okay. Now, when we are adding the extra shelf, we want our customers to utilize the most cost-efficient hardware which is available. Okay. Because we, we want them to take advantage of the technology progression. So our customers will probably use 3D TLC at this point. Okay. Which so I can mix MLC and TLC in the same K yes. block? Okay. Exactly. Wow. Okay, so I'm not locked in there at all. Uh, so you preserve your all investment of the MLC drive while expanding in the most cost-efficient way. Well, yeah, that's important because you just told me this tier is going to last for 25 years anyways, right? Yes. So being able to do this is really good. So then um, what happens if I do run into a performance problem? So you can scale out. So okay. You, ca you, you, you can add additional K block. And of, of course, you're also adding a switch in order to connect uh, the two to, to, uh, to together, two switches. Because mm -hmm. everything is highly available. So we are adding additional K block. Uh, so uh, if you want, if you need more capacity, then uh, it's a single system. All the volumes are spread across all, all the K blocks. So this is K block one. This is now K block. Number, but, num num number two. But so now I manage this as if it was one system, though. I've it's one, it's one ma system. Everything is balanced. The data and metadata of every volume is evenly distributed across all the SSDs. And uh, so if you are adding a, single, uh, a second cable block, you are doubling the performance. OK. So then I've got, I can scale up. I can scale out. Yes. Uh, you've got a system that you're guaranteeing for, f I think you said, five years or seven years? Seven years. Seven years, even better. Uh, and so then, and then obviously I'm not locked into any particular technology. I can plug it in, and you're showing that right here. Actually, we did it in the last year. We, 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 uh, we support MLC transition early this year to 3D MLC, and now we support 3D TLC. And we have customers that are uh, using all the three technologies together within the same system. Wow. And everything, all the expansions, everything is online. So the, it's not, and this is why we call it the perpetual array, because everything is online and everything is done non-destructively. Gotcha. And then, so with the, the 3D TLC, uh, NAND, what, what are you guys now hitting it from a price per gigabyte standpoint? So, so, so th this is, uh, I think, the most significant thing in our uh, announcement. The average price per gigabyte in Caminario is below dollar per gig. Okay. So wow. it's, 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 m it's much more uh, cost efficient than hybrid array. So I, we don't see a reason to buy hybrid array anymore because you can gain the full benefits of flash without compromising on cost, without compromising on scalability. And by the way, without compromising on enterprise feature, we support snapshot, we support replication, asynchronous replication. So you have everything you need for an enterprise uh, within a single system. Well, it's fully uh, dynamic and it's fully scalable. And, and so let's let's uh, end with that. So one of the key features I know you guys just brought out was asynchronous replication, and and obviously that's important as you try to become the uh, storage system for the data center, right? I have to have the ability to move it off-site. So you now have that guy capability. Yes, and we implement a very very strong replication solution based on our snapshot implementation. Okay. With uh, excellent, uh, we have RPO below a minute, RTO of. Uh, less than a second and very very good integration okay. to the ecosystem to VMware, okay. in VMware uh, conference sure. uh, uh, for uh, databases for SQL for Oracle. Mm -hmm. uh, we we are also we also allow customers to create application aware. Okay, so you allow uh, integration into the application because because this is how you can uh, recover very fast. This is how you can bring RTO to very few uh, seconds. Gotcha. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. It was excellent. Great. Thank you. Uh, so there you have it. You know, TLC is going to change the data center. It's going to allow for 
you to really hit a whole new price point, uh, uh, potentially getting rid of the whole hybrid versus all flash discussion. And more importantly, we're now seeing systems that, that have the technology to uh, grant all the enterprise features that we've seen like replication. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us.